pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic. For which it stands. One nation. Under God. Under the rule. With liberty and justice, justice for all. How did communities deal with being less than? They would rebel and beat them up like Jackie Chan. Or they do something like they kind of do now and just get away. It's called self-exile. Another thing they do is called assimilation. Where they copy the power to stick these situations. For example, we had the Cherokee who got some slaves with less brutality. Another thing they do is where they resist. This is where they defend and throw up, throw up fists. Now it's time for the next question. Listen to these bars. They teach lessons, how the communities, they were being different. They would isolate even their own friends. Then we got Ebola, it was kind of mean. Then we handled this by having quarantine. Then in Chicago, I heard the exile, where they sent the sick people for a little while. But guess what I heard? It's not a hospital. Last time I checked, jails now where sick people go, but in common ground, we are very different, because we have said different. If you know power's in the spirit, and it, it never's gonna change, because power's what we gain, and no brain strong enough to put up this flame. What do groups do to feel more than in their community? By joining middle schools, high schools, universities, achieving education, avoiding segregation, putting an end to what's called discrimination, the power of words to show intimidation so people use no violence. Instead, they use the words to put the crowd in the silence, just like my boy Frederick Douglass, who used the power for speeches to change the mind of the public. That's not the only response of being in a minority. Groups use violence against whites and the authority. Losing blood, taking blood, fighting for equality. All this in order to feel the same in their society. Black and white, white and black, there is no difference. Everyone's the same, just made in their own image. Choose your path wisely, it's based on your decision. Not for the next question, cause you know I'm not finished. So how do communities deal with differences? Did it have anything to do with violence, debate, or discipline? No. It was a lot more positive, but still as hurtful as any of these decisions. People isolated because they show a little bit of difference compared to others. It depended on their race, religion, also even the illness that a person had. But this is just one example, because even today, people are isolated by being put in prison. But this wasn't the only option. People that were different also had decisions to do what felt right, found their dream or their vision. This was called self-exile. And these were how people dealt with being different in society.